Hello there everybody, and welcome to my new series in a game called Running With Rifles. And, um, uh, I played this game for a fair bit already. Let's see, I'm just pulling Steam Overlay, you can't actually see it. 16 hours, so, you know, not, not a super amount, but, you know, enough to get a feel for it, and, uh, enough to do this quick little review. Uh, as well as some gameplay. Um... As far as the gameplay, there are quick matches, which is what I am in right now. And there are, um, I'm just trying to figure out where I'm going. There are quick matches, and there is the campaign. Now, the campaign, in a way, is just a series of quick matches. You know, instead of just having this map here of this battlefield, you'll fight your way through the map. You have to secure each of these little lo locations. If I zoom in here, you see the dotted line. Each of those series of dotted lines are a base that needs to be captured. All these yellow points are available spawn points to my team. And then you have things here. You know, that's a that's a tank that's rolling around that's friendly since it's white. Um, we've got your armory symbol, spawn truck. Spawn truck is pretty much exactly what you would think it is. It's a truck that you can drive around in, and it's a mobile spawn point. Uh, radar towers, um, that gives you vision range. Um, there's also, let's see if it's on this map. There's also radio towers, and what it does is it jams enemy abilities. And enemy abilities, by default, it's the H key. Um, okay, I don't have uh, access to it quite yet. But it lets you call in things like mortar strikes and airborne reinforcements, and, you know, sandbags that you can deploy... Tactical aid points, pretty much. Resource points. And you get them by grabbing loot off of the battlefield and bringing it to your, um, an armory truck or, a, you know, a stationary armory. And I really can't show you that until I kind of get a little fighting here, but overall... This, when I first got this game, I was thinking, oh, you know what, this looks like a fun little arcade game I can play when I have a little bit of free time. First day I got it, I played like five hours. I just got so engrossed in it. Because in campaign, you start, well, and you can choose your um, what you want to start out as experience-wise in um, the custom battle. But you start out as just one soldier among many, and you're there to fight the enemy. And the way you shoot is quite a bit different. Um, you've got this little crosshair that turns different colors. If it's on an enemy, it turns uh, yellow. If you can get a hit, like see, you just flashed yellow there for a split second. If the shot is blocked by something, pointing at the screen, but you can't even see it. You can follow this line here, and I just got killed. And you can saw, see that there was a there's a crosshair on that tree indicating that I was uh, the bullets that I fired would probably not go past that point. Um, control is your crouch. You're obviously going to be much more accurate when you're crouched. And then um, holding C is... Um, oh, there's actually a guy there that I hit a couple times. Holding C makes you go prone. And the thing about this game is um, there is no uh, ammo, really. All you have to concern yourself with is the magazine size of your weapon and how many bullets you have left in your magazine. You can reload as many times as you want. The thing is, uh, there's no auto-reload in this game. You have to control it yourself. And here I can show you... Wait, there's someone over here I have to get. Got him. Got him. Alright, so you hold F, and then and if there's stuff on the ground, you see, oh, the, that's what the guy dropped. He's got some hand grenades and an AK-47. You can drag him into your backpack. Let's see if I take this... See, it went over 100%. When it's over 100%, you get a big hit to your accuracy. Like I'd be shooting here, instead of going relatively in a straight line, it'll be just going da 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 da, -da everywhere, and your character will complain about uh, oh, this darn backpack, I can't shoot straight with it. Something along those lines. You know, the gameplay is quite involved. It's just a lot of fun by yourself or with friends. There is multiplayer to this. Even just playing online with random people is a lot of fun. What was he doing? What was that explosion? I don't even know. Ah! 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 You will die a lot in this game. 
you will. Um, especially at the beginning if you're just getting it, because um, the controls are different from what I'm used to anyway in other shooter games. I mean, you look around by doing this and you can see everything. And then once you rank up a little bit, I think Sergeant, no, Corporal, excuse me, it's Corporal, you gain access to your first squad member, and you can give them some basic orders, like move to this position, and they will carefully move up using cover, engaging the enemy as they're moving to that position. Or if you double click it, it's a charge order. They'll pretty much ignore uh, enemies. Well, they won't really ignore them. They'll just engage them and run at them at the same time and just be overall badasses. And there's a guy coming in from my right. I can't believe I'm still alive. No, it's a, it's a pretty intense game. Um, a few hours of playing this and you'll be reduced to just cowering behind a rock or a tree, fearing for your life. If you poke out, you'll get picked off by a sniper or something like that. And I made them pay a little bit before they got me. It doesn't help that I'm like mostly focused on talking to you guys. But no, this, this game is pretty well put together. I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's still in development. It's, um, I mean, certainly not... It's certainly not Call of Duty. Don't expect anything like that when you get this. It's uh, it's much more tactical than that. It's really easy to die, as you just noticed there. And basically, in the campaign especially, you lead your squad from point to point. You know, the whole map here, all of this, is yours to roam around in. There's nothing stopping you. And stealth is a thing in this game. If you want to be sneaky, you can do it. There's absolutely nothing stopping you from doing what you want, except a hail of bullets from the enemy team. OMG grenade! I blew them up! Oh, hi there, buddy! He dove in right next to me. What's this? A lighter? You know what? I am going to grab this some of this loot. Let's see. Well, I somehow managed to get him, but see, look how inaccurate that is. Crap! Crap! Into the trench! Into the trench! Oh god! He was right there! I can't believe I made it. No, I'm going to head up to the... There should be an armory. Uh, you know what? It's really far away. Screw it. Oh, you know what? Fine, this is fine. I can just talk to you about it a little bit more while I head up to the armory. Because I, I, I really do want to show you how that works. Because that is kind of a big thing of the game. He's in campaign by turning in uh, these different weapons that you see here. You'll actually be able to gain access to them. There are three factions in this game. They're called Green Belts, uh, Gray Collars, and Brown Pants. And the weapons that they use, the Green Belts use um, American weapons, the uh, Gray Collars use German weapons, and the Brown Pants use Russian weapons. And the names kind of, uh, kind of match them, too. Jesse Butler, Walter Ward. <laughs> That's an interesting name. All right, so we're at the armory. And you can either left-click and drag over, or to be faster you just right click and it will automatically sell them, and then right here it lists your total XP, total resource points, right click right click, and there you go you sold it all and these are all the different things I have access to right now to deploy and some of these are items like MG deploy you can't get it yet but it's like, um, it takes up uh, this slot right here and you equip it like a secondary weapon. You switch weapons with um, with F, and you will. Or I'm sorry, not F. I don't remember. Dang it. Anyway, you switch to your secondary weapon. It's for some reason it's just completely eluding me at the second. I'm gonna actually look at this really quick because I want to let you know. Here are all the controls right here. Reload. Blah 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 blah. B. B is switch weapon. So you hit B, and then your guy will carry the, like the MG, the sandbag deploy, or the mortar deploy. And then you left-click to place it like you're firing. You have to left-click and hold, usually, because it takes some time to deploy it. You know, this is a, it's quite a fun game. I haven't really noticed any glaringly obvious bugs. Um, performance, you know, it works pretty well, even when you, uh, you can adjust the amount of men on each side. And uh, I really haven't noticed any performance issues. I mean, again, I, 
If you've seen any of my other videos, I've mentioned my rig in a couple of reviews I've done. I have a pretty nice rig, but I've got some friends that play this game, and they're not nearly as powerful as my computer, and they run this just fine too. But just to be sure, make sure you look at the recommended settings, and make sure your computer can match it, because again, the last thing you want is to spend money on a game and then not even be able to play it. That just sucks. No, this is a this is a really entertaining game. It's a lot of fun. Oh, look at this. That was a great collar over there. Way to go, soldier. Picking people off. Forward, my brothers. Cover me. You shall be covered. Can I throw a grenade over that? I don't know. All right. See, and then if you look on the bottom, you see that green and gray bar. And I am green. That is my faction, the green belts. Since we are in a base. The, uh, the green part of the portion of the bar shows, in general, how many troops we have in this base. And the gray shows the uh, enemy troop strength of who, whatever faction holds this current base. And in order to capture a base, you have to eliminate a certain number of enemy troops in that base and hold it for a certain amount of time. That's what that counter, the timer, keeps popping up for. It's like, okay, you, you have the right troop ratio... Now hold on to it until you can capture it. That's what that is. And we're getting very close. And I just got promoted to private first class. Moving up in the world, man. GG. Crap, nope, that's not what I want. Cover, cover, cover. Yeah, cover is very important in this game. This is not a run and gun kind of thing. You can run and gun. It just won't work very well. Example. Ah... Running and gunning uh, didn't work. You get cut down so fast. What? Oh, if you want to respawn, change your spawn point. You hit tab while you're dead before you hit space. And you can click on whatever base you want, and you'll spawn there. Easy as pie. But yeah, you guys can totally expect some uh, further videos in this series from me in the near, very near future. Uh, I think this is going to be a really fun video series to shoot. I hope you guys follow along, and until next time, this is Ryan from Stromboli Games, signing off.